Hello, hello. Welcome. Welcome to Bella Bean's Chinese Food Kitchen. In today's kitchen, I'm going to share with you a very easy but very tasty beef noodles recipe. The main material for this recipe are cooked beef shank or raw beef tenderloin, green pepper, onion, carrot, spaghetti or Chinese noodles. And the other ingredients are shown on this photo. If you use raw beef tenderloin instead of cooked beef shank, you need the below ingredients too. If we use the cooked beef shank, so we first cut this beef shank into thin slices. You see, this beef shank is still a little frozen, so it's easy to cut it into thin slices. I cooked a lot, then I froze them in the freezer. I have a recipe about how to cook beef shank. You can see the link below in the description. But don't worry, if you don't have the cooked beef shank, you can use the raw beef tenderloin or beef steak instead. The first step, I cut this beef tenderloin into thin small pieces. Next, I put the beef slices into container, then add in salt, sugar, light soy sauce, cooking wine, cornstarch, another cornstarch, and egg white. Stir, stir a little bit. Then, last one, dark soy sauce. Then stir to mix everything well. Set it aside for 10 minutes. In the meantime, we can go to clean the vegetables. Next, we heat a stir fry pan over medium heat. When the pan is very hot, we add in oil, then turn the oil, then we add in the marinated the beef slices. Then we use the chopsticks as well as the wooden turner to separate the beef slices. Don't want them to stay together and don't want them stuck on the bottom. Stir fry, stir fry until there's no red meat and the color is a little brown. Then the meat is well cooked. We turn off the heat and transfer the meat into a plate. Totally about two or three minutes. Next, we remove the both end of this yellow onion. We only use half and then cut it into small strips. Then cut this half green pepper into small pieces. If you like hot taste, you can use long green hot pepper instead of this one. This pepper is a sweet one. Next. We cut this carrot into three parts, then cut each part into thin slices. Now our vegetables ready. Next, we pour one liter of boiling water into a container to prepare to rinse the noodles. Next, we use a small bowl, add in cornstarch, another cornstarch, 
then sugar. Then dark soy sauce. Then light soy sauce. Then oyster sauce. Then cold water. Stir a little bit, then add in a little bit of salt, then set it aside. This is our sauce mix. Next, in the Dutch oven, we add in one and a half liter of cold water, then turn the heat to high heat. When the water is boiling, we add in the noodles or spaghetti if you want to use. Then stir, stir frequently. Make sure noodles not stuck together, not stuck on the bottom. When the water is boiling again, then we turn the heat to low heat. We use the low heat to boil the noodles about six minutes. Oh, you can check a noodle to see if there is a white hard part in the middle of the noodle. If there is no, that means the noodle are well cooked. The cooking time is different, depends on the kinds of the noodles. Since noodles are well cooked, we take them out and rinse them in the boiled but now cooled down water beside. After rinse, we take them out and put them into the plate. One is for me and one is for my husband. Actually, the amount is good for three people. Next, we add in the carrot slices into the boiling water we used for boiling the noodles. Boil about one minute and take the carrots out, set them aside. Next, we put a pan over high heat. When the pan is very hot, add in oil. Then add in green peppers. Stir fry, stir fry a little bit. Then add in ground citron pepper. Stir, stir a little bit. Then add in the onions. Stir fry the onions with peppers together. Then add in the beef. Either the beef shank or either the beef tenderloin slices. Stir fry, stir fry a little bit. Then add in carrot slices. Stir, stir fry everything in the pan. Then we stir the sauce mixture in the bowl. Stir, stir, then add in the sauce mixture into the pan. Now we stir everything in the pan. Stir stir fry. Wow, everything looking nice. It's looking delicious. Okay, now everything well cooked. We turn off the heat and then transfer the whole mixture onto the noodle plate. Wow, it's a really nice mixture. You see the beef meat and the vegetables. Now, we start to eat our lunch. I stir to mix everything in my noodle plate. 
ว่า I cannot wait to try Take a new d o s e Take a beef slices and the carrots Why it's really really delicious Delicious noodles As I said, you can use spaghetti, spaghetti n e e instead of noodles and the taste are still good Like my recipe, don't forget to click subscribe as well as the bell notification That's the biggest support to me Thank you for your watching, see you next time, take care